Hello, I hope you are having a wonderful day. In this short tutorial, I wanted to talk about shadows. Now, I've created an example slide like that. I have a few elements here, but what I wanted to talk about is those shadows. Now, something that people overlook or don't do is to work with custom shadows. Let's say that I insert a shape, a very normal circle shape. I give it no outline and I make the shape fill white. Okay, this would be the editing part. Now, many people, if they use PowerPoint and they use shape effects, they go into the shape effect, they go into shadow, and eventually they use one of those simple predefined shadows. Those are great. They are, however, not perfect and definitely not unique. Very often you do see such a shadow. However, this is far from perfect. What I usually do I also work with the blur. So I click on this element, I right click and I format this shape and not in the fill options, but here on the second options. Those are the effect options. In the effect options, we've already used the shadow options. And you can see this is the predefined, like I have the preset, this is the first preset. What I usually do, I work with the transparency. At first, I make the transparency lower so I see the shadow better. Then I work a bit with the size and what's most important, I work the blur. And look how beautiful this can look. I would like a small blur, but a very strong one. So for that, I need to make it smaller, something like this. I can eventually work with the angle to make it more aligned. And about the distance, usually you want to go to zero if you want the shadow to be around this object. But if you want it further away, you can of course work the distance. As you can see, the angle should be like that. And when my neighbors finally stop using the drills, well, it appears they won't. Maybe I tell a joke. In the meantime, what did a claustrophobic astronaut need? He just needed a little space. <laughs> it's a super joke, but the drilling still hasn't gone away. So I'll just have to wait a little longer. Okay, finally, this is rounding up. Okay, regarding the shadows, the most important thing that is usually not used is the blur. And the blur adds this strong exposure. You can also do this for rectangles and for other important elements. Regarding the size, the size can be close to 100% because the last adjustment should be with the transparency. You can make a small 80% transparency if you want it like that. If you want the shadow to really be strongly visible, you make the transparency less. And now look how cool. You can duplicate this object, for example. Then you can go to Home. Then you can go to its Format, Edit Shape, Change Shape, and make a rectangle out of this. Now, with a few mouse clicks, I'm using again this great shadow that we had here on another object. Let's say, for example, I would put some, some boxes here, like this would be the concept of my slide. Here I made an example mockup. I downloaded it from the web. I inserted an image and this is how I used those shadows here. And those shadows can be used on any object. Just remember that you do not only go here, shape effects, shadow, and you just click here. Always go way bottom, shadow options, and work a bit with the blur, with the transparency, of course with the size and distance, but the most important option here, which is often overlooked and it looks absolutely beautiful, is the blur and the strength of the transparency. I hope this little tutorial was really great for you, that drilling didn't get in our way and the joke wasn't even funny, so it all doesn't matter because the tutorial is finished and I hope we've completed this task for today. See you in other tutorials.